previously on Home and Away. You told me it was over between us. And then you disappeared from rehab. Uh, I've explained myself. And before that, you didn't trust me enough to tell me you were struggling. You shut me out, and that still hurts. I mean, if you turned to anyone but Heath, I mean, maybe I could have got through it, but... Why is this different? Heath was my dealer. Apart from your daughter dating the youngest Braxton, there's no other personal connection here I need to be aware of? No. Then why the hesitation in going after someone we both know has gotten away with a truckload of offences? Get Liam Murphy to testify against him. One wrong word. We'll end up in a cell together. I wouldn't dump you in it. None of the boys would. You know that, right? The tip off you got, it came from me. No, I mean it, Ruby. This can't get out. Heath and the River Boys, they would see my connection to Brax as a threat. Do I have your promise? Okay, I promise. Dirty cow of a cop. Yes, Mum. Now, can you please go home? My housemates... You know, be she's been gunning for the boys for ages and couldn't get anything, so now she's trumped something up. <sighs> you actually think that Heath would do any of the things they're saying? I don't know. Well, I do, and he wouldn't. <sighs> Look, this is what she wants, mate. Us blowing. Which is why we've got to stick together, OK? What do you mean by that? You need to get rid of Ruby. What? No! Her mum's the one that's after yeah, us. And that's not Ruby's fault. Yeah, well, I think it's a bit of a coincidence that the cop knows so much about us. Have you been telling Ruby stuff you shouldn't have? No. Still, we can't risk it. Go on, call her. Tell her it's over. That's not going to happen, Mum. Now, can you please go? Well, do you think we should break up? No. Mum, not me. What? Huh. I don't know, Case. It's just today at the hospital you told me to leave you alone and now you're talking about dumping me. I mean, what am I supposed to think? Look, I'm sorry about that. I was just worried about Heath getting hurt and then your mum was just staring at Brax the whole time. Well, she's certainly not my favourite person right now either. Why? Uh, don't even... Just forget about no, it. No, look, whatever it is, you can tell me. I don't know, Case. Maybe your mum's right. Maybe we should just break up. I mean, this whole thing with your family and my family is just getting out of control. Uh, has it ever been in control? <laughs> Seriously, Ruby, your mum's arresting my brother again. OK, there's nothing new. What has changed here? Everything's changed. What do you mean? Uh, look, the only thing you and me have got is you and me. Now, if we stop trusting each other, that's all going to fall apart. You know, this guy Charlie's been seeing? Oh, the secret lover you keep banging on about, yeah, yes. Yeah, it's Brax. Yeah, I saw them earlier tonight, and when I confronted her about it, she just told me to keep quiet. <sighs> yeah. Oh, I bet she did. So what's the big deal? You did it, didn't you? Did what? Tegan was right. You dubbed Heath and the boys into the cops. You really think this is the right time to talk about this case? Yeah, I do. Okay. Now, you told me you didn't do it. That's right. What you didn't tell me was that you and Charlie were seeing each other. <sighs> okay. Ruby, can you give us a second? No, why should she? Hey, she's the only one in all of this who's been straight with me. No offence. That doesn't mean I want to hear in family business. What is her family business? Or have you forgotten that your girlfriend is her mother? In case, it's OK. All right, I'll be in your room. So it's true, right? You tipped Charlie off to the raid? Look, I, I know how this might look. But it is way more complicated. <laughs> no, Brax. It's really, really simple. You either did it or you didn't do it. Heath was going to get himself and the boys killed. Right, oh, I had to do something. Whatever you want to tell yourself, Brax. But the fact remains is Heath is in jail. And you put him there. Yeah, you and your cop girlfriend. I mean, did you really think you could keep this a secret forever? I don't know. I guess I was... I was just trying to convince myself that this day wouldn't come. Well, it has. 
What are you going to do? Starting now. Sorry for turning up so late. Come in. I'll see you in the morning. Okay. Just came from Casey's place. Ruby was there. She told him? Yeah. Oh, she promised me she wouldn't. Well, I'm guessing promises to us don't count much anymore. What are we going to do? I don't know. I've, I've kept Casey so isolated from the way that boys really do business. I don't think he understands how serious this really is. And how do they really do business, Brax? Oh, just, you want to lose the cops out for a second, Charlie? Jeez. OK, but you're going to be OK, yeah? With your boys? I mean, it's just Jake Pirovich and his gang that you have to worry about. And Casey wouldn't say anything to them. Running the River Boys doesn't come with special dogging privileges. If Casey lets slip that he's in jail because of me, I'm a dead man. Because you and I are so good at communicating right now. What do you want, Charlie? To know that you're OK. That we're OK. Well, I'm OK. Did Brax tell you that he saw us last night? Why'd you break your promise and tell Casey? <laughs> and I get that I'm a liar. But we need to move past that. I had to tell someone. Casey's the only person in my life that I can trust right now. See those guys over there? What happens if Casey feels the need to confide in them? He won't. He's got me. Ruby, I get that what you two have is really special, and I'm not trying to put that down. But Casey just lost one brother to a drug bust. And the other one, he doesn't feel like he can trust. The River Boys, they're his family. He grew up. OK, look at me. Look at me. Now, do you understand why it's so important to keep a lid on this? Yeah. Then make sure that Casey does too. Don't. Let him get hurt because you couldn't keep a promise. Heads up, boss. Incoming. Great. Good morning, Mrs. Braxton. What can I do for you? Well, you can get my son out of the nick for a start. That's not possible until he's faced. Oh, I know how it works. Not possible because he's a Braxton. Would you mind lowering your voice, please? Don't you tell me to shut up. You might think you're king of the castle around here, but I've got rights. I won't ask you again. Lower your voice. They cop this. You might not give a stuff about my kids, but I'm here to look after yours. Are you threatening me or my family, Mrs. Braxton? I'm telling you this. I'm a mum who's had her kid taken, and you need to find out what it feels like to wake up to an empty house, Miss High and Mighty Sergeant Bucks. And look, Mrs. Braxton, I'm arresting you for assault, police and afraid. Yeah, but look, come on, you can't do this. I barely touched you. You don't have to say or do anything, but anything you do say or do will be used as evidence. Do you understand? Oh, I understand, all right. You also understand that threatening my daughter just changed the rules big time. What do you mean? Get her out of here. Hey, you regret this? I'll get my boy's lawyer on you, and you'll be history. Come on, Mrs. Braxton, calm down. Get Come on, let me go, you stupid cover! Come on. Liam, thanks for agreeing to meet me. Yeah, that's OK. Um, waiting to find out what this is about has made me a little nervous, though. You're not in any trouble, so that's what you're worried about. Good. Can I get that in writing? <laughs> they obviously didn't get the message. What message would that be, Mick? Thinks you could get hot around here. That's pretty good advice. I'd take it on board if I were you. Uh, I take it you heard about the arrest we made yesterday? Uh, yeah, I did. Um, congratulations, too. Thanks. I was hoping that you could help. Uh, how? 
I've been told that you were supplied drugs by Heath Braxton before you went into rehab. Is that true? If that was true, and I'm not saying that it is, that was a long time ago, Charlie. So why are you asking me that now? I'm not interested in you. All I want is a witness against Heath. You want me to stand up in court and testify that Heath Braxton was my dealer? I know this is a big ask, but if we've got any chance at all at putting this guy away, we need the strongest case possible, and that means a witness. I'm sorry, I didn't know I'd come back on you like this. Well, what did you think a cop was going to do with information like that? At the time, I wasn't thinking. Bianca, it's the golden rule. You don't dob on your dealers. It makes you a target. I'm sorry, it was so stupid. It wasn't stupid, you just didn't realise. You don't have to do it. I mean, Charlie will understand. No, she won't. She's going to do whatever it takes to lock him up. Bianca, I'm a recovering addict. I don't need this in my life. I know, I'm sorry. What can I do? Uh, nothing. I don't want you to do anything. She's probably just writing a shopping list. It's not helping, Mum. So what, do we just wait? She's loved the ball fair and square in their court, yeah. Yeah, well, only because of what they did to Heath. Oh. Look, what are you going to do next, taser me? You've committed a number of offences. Yeah, I should have committed more. Shut up. Are you charging her? I'm well within my rights to. But in the interest of avoiding any more trouble, I'm going to let it go this time. No, oh, don't do me any favours. Mum. There won't be any second chances. You can go. Thanks, officer. I'd go now, if I were you, before I change my mind. Oh, you got a hide showing up here, making up stuff about my That's boy. enough, Mum. Casey, get her out of here, will you? Yeah, I'm going. Just, sorry. I need to talk to you. Yeah, I thought you might. What are you doing? Looking for your boyfriend. Yeah, well, um... He's not here, so, um, let's go. Oh, that's not very nice. Get out! I need to give him a message. No, she said get out! Now! You mind your own business? No, I'll call the police. You won't make no, it to the no, phone. No, no, leave her out of this! I will pass on your message. I was hoping to deliver it in person, but I guess it's left to do. Oi! What are you doing here? Get out! Liam! Huh? Liam! Liam! Yeah? Liam! Stop it! Mate, hey, what do you want? It's come to our attention. You've been asked a lot of questions, mate, by the cops. And I just want to make sure you got the right answers. Mate, I'd get out of here right now if I was you. Hey, I'm just giving you a bit of friendly advice, mate. Make sure you stay safe. Call it a community service. Thanks for not spilling to Mum. Look, I know you're angry. But I'm going to ask you to suck it up. I'm sorry. No, I'm finished with being told what to do, Brax. You don't get to keep me in the dark anymore, not after what you've done. Righto. I know you want to know what happened. I'll tell you what happened. Heath was walking into a trap. And Jake Pirovich and his crew were there, and they were tooled up. Then why didn't you stop Heath from going in? Hey, why'd you have to bring the cops into it? If there was anything else I could have done, trust me, I would have done it. But there was no time. The coppers were the only ones that could stop it. It's not just the cops, is it? It's your girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, no, are you going to keep seeing her? Casey, did you see me taking sides with Mum about you breaking up with Ruby? Ruby's not going anywhere, Brax. Well, there you go. Part of you can understand where I'm coming from. You have to trust me. 
No, I'm serious, mate. This family can't go on doing things the way it's always done. Why? Because Charlie wouldn't approve? No, because we're getting creamed out there. And I'm, you know, I'm trying to change the game, but I can't do it on my own. I need you to back me up. No, it's for me. It's for me. Come in. So I still only get to hear what you want me to hear. What part of suck it up didn't you get? So are you sure about me being here? No, but I'm giving up trying to keep this under control. Is that why you're talking to Liam today? I bumped into him outside the surf club. Where some of your boys were hassling me, by the way. Yeah, but then you just bumped into him again. Are you having me followed? Or is it Liam you're tracking? Word gets around, Charlie. It's a small town, you know how it works. Yeah, I do, which is why we need to talk. Look, you can't just keep turning up like this. Gonna stop inviting me? No, I, I am serious. You and I have to stop pretending that this is okay, that we can just sneak around and no one's gonna know about it. What do you mean? We just need to lie low for a while until things settle down. But you do understand, right, that it's not because I don't want to be with you. Yeah, no, I do, I do. We've both got stuff we've got to sort out. Yeah. Oh, I, I guess I'll see you around then. Love, are you all right? Yeah, I am now. Well, what the hell was one of that lot doing here in the first place? He had some kind of strange message for Liam. No, I think the message was for me. I mean, I know things about Heath they wouldn't want the police knowing. Yeah, well, I hope you blow the whistle on him, Dal. Good for nothing, thug. I know. <laughs> what was I thinking? When are you going to stop that? You're not going to let yourself off the hook, are you? Look, it's not that. I, I just want to hear from Liam, OK? I haven't heard from him since it all happened. Why? Has something else happened? No, it just seems every time we turn around, there's something else we need to deal with, and well, we don't deal with any of it. Yeah, well, I kind of spotted that. Maybe we're just not ready. Or maybe you need to take the lead, love, especially when you've got so many fences to mend. There's no point in putting it off. Yeah, it's assuming Liam wants to. Of course he does, Bianca. You saw how amazing he was this afternoon. Oh, well, if that's the case, then where is he now? Speak to the devil. <laughs> Next time on Home and Away. William, based on your injuries, you look like you've been assaulted to me. No, Sid, I came off my bike. It was a, a stupid accident. Why are you protecting them? I don't want the cops getting involved. Heath Braxton used to be my drug dealer. OK, and Bianca went and told Charlie that. So this is a warning. And that's my fault, too. No. Don't lie to me! All right, I am furious at you for telling the cops. But how could you be that stupid, Bianca? I don't want you to testify against Heath. Tell Charlie you've changed your mind and it's not worth getting hurt over. Catch up on what's happening on Home and Away online at Yahoo 7 TV.